Hi folks, it's uh, well, another watercolour. It seems that when I stray from watercolour to acrylic, uh, I lose a lot of views and the same goes with oils. So uh, I'll sort of carry on switching between the three mediums. Uh, while that's uh, drawing off, just giving it a bit of a wet, I'm just waiting for it to sort of soak in a bit. It's on the Fabriano studio paper. So I'll show you that I've just picked up a few, sort of three of my old photographs that I fell on the floor. But these are, that was one I did uh, many years ago. Uh, an oil painting. Uh, there's uh, a Venice painting I did in the 1990s. I, I enjoyed doing that one, but I was commissioned to do 80 Venice paintings. And they were all based on an artist, a French impressionist called Antoine Bouvard, aka Mark Alding. And this is me with my son on a lake in this or near this in Norfolk or the border. See, I've even got my paints out there. Look, it's an opportunity. It took me a long time to, to learn to do all this, and uh, I wish I was better than I am. Uh, I'll put those back in the drawer with all my other photographs because I make things up these days. Uh, on YouTube, I always get unsettled when I see this guy, uh, Sean Scully. Sean Scully was Irish, Irish ancestry. He lived in his family in a very, very poor run-down part of South London called Deptford, uh, not too far from my Crystal Palace uh, football team that I support. Uh, he was always in trouble, gang fights and so on. But he had this uh, bent for arts, and uh, over the years he reckons he was self-taught, but he did get into a college in London, uh, or Croydon, not far from here. Uh, and uh, he, he won a scholarship to America, and his name, if I didn't say, is Hugh Scully. Sean, sorry, Sean Scully, S-E-A-N. And Scully, S C U W L Y, is on YouTube. There's a whole documentary of his life. It's probably been made by BBC Studios. Um, but it's on YouTube. And if you feel like you want to have a go at abstract painting, he's probably one of the finest uh, of his generation. But well, he's still alive, I'm sure. I haven't seen anything to the contrary. He's probably in mid seventy five seventies now. Uh, I like to think I am, but I'm just a little bit older. Uh, but I was watching it in bed this morning and last night. Uh, the documentary I've seen it a couple of times before, but I just like what he does, and he uh, and he reduces everything to his basic simplicity. But it took probably a long time to get there. We're using uh, blocks. Uh, 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 stripes, well, thick stripes, and oh, you'd have to have a look and see what he does. But he said, If I could do it, anyone, anyone can do it, and that's not strictly true, is it? Oh, that's, that's a the curtain, the grind. It's a, it's a very big slate today, but it's sunny at the moment. But a bit of a shower's just gone over. I'm going to go out on my bike later on to let my son's dog out. Uh, I've just found the uh, Sharon sent me three or four brushes, lovely riggers, but hard to get them in the little tubes without bending the uh, bristles. Right, okay, so we'll get some some uh, sienna in there. I'll make something up. So if you've got an interest in painting abstract, the trouble is you, you can't really copy because he's done it. You can only rip him off and that's not right, is it? But you've got to find your own way as he did. But um, I love him to bits. I love his work, just like Howard Hodgkin. 
who died two or three years ago, sadly. Right, okay, let's uh, put a bit of uh, a bit of red in there. Right, now we've got, I've, I've just squeezed out some paints grey and I'm, I'm getting quite short of that. So soften that bit. Ooh, look, I picked up a lot there. And I've squeezed out some ultramarine, put a bit of red with that. So we'll have a bit of a, a bit of a heavy sky. Go back with some uh, some lighter stuff here. Can put put in some bit of blue. Okay, that'll do. Good side. Now at this stage, leave it, leave it alone till it dries or dry it. Give it a dry. Okay, uh, right, it'll dry a lot uh, lighter, so let's do that. So, headphones off. Go! Okay, so uh, if you catch it wrong, you get these sort of things here. So I'm going to paint over that. those. Uh, probably a higher horizon. Just put it nice and tight and flat. I try to keep get the corners done as well because it, otherwise, when I put it in the 16 by 12 mount, and this is a 15 by 11 sheet, um, it grins a bit. Just take uh, that bit there. The, paper, the paper's completely flat now, well, more or less. All right, let's get a, another hake, a medium hake, and we'll, uh, we'll put in a bit of, bit of background. Oh, it could be darker than that. Right, so that's a, a start. We could just go a bit, bit ripply. Uh, right, the sky is like something's just gone over. All those bit not quite as dark, but uh, you can please yourself. Uh, now I'm going to. Uh, well, that's. Uh, Drying off. There's my palette. Let's explain the palette. I've got some cadmium yellow light from Ken Bromley. That's an artist quality, very very powerful artist quality. But the rest of them are ordinary paints: uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey. You can see it's all nice and wet there, and uh, burnt sienna. 
and I think I've run out of burst yet as well. And oh, I've got to drink a bit of tea. Oh, why does my tea go cold? I forget to drink it. Right, let's uh, get a little bit of uh, stuff in there. Bit of paint's grey in there. I mean, a uh, bit of uh, burnt sienna. Bit of yellow. And we'll. Uh, Right, let's get some foreground in now. Uh, a bit of yellow in there. More sienna. Now that's a lovely colour in there. Now you can see how just use that it's a bit of grey. A bit of green going in there. I'm not, I'm just making up the colour, just going for it. I'll well, just give a bit of impression of grass. Right, we'll get something on here in a minute on this background. Uh, let's just put in a bit more of that greeny colour. Let's get a card and scrape a bit of this out. Still wet there. I'll give that a try. Just put a bit of texture in. No, just it's so easy to paint rocks. And some of this. Right, I'll give that a try. There you go. Totally unreal colours, but uh, that's uh, not a problem. 
Now I'll put some background in, some of that Payne's grey, some of that, a little bit of blue with that. yellow in there. I only put a little bit on out of this yellow on the palette, I don't want to waste it. It was ten pounds a tube. Probably more now. Oh, I want to get this horizon ah that's very straight. Horizontal let's get some uh, Just make up stuff here. So I keep some air in the uh, in the canopies of these of the trees. Not easily done with this uh, hike, but uh, mm. <coughs> oh, and then we we'll get a bit of a. Bit of a bit of texture on the, on the, on here. Might paint up there a bit, and you can just. Now it's a bit of a moot point it's about should you show a reflection of that in the water but just assume that the uh, that the wind is with the storm is uh, rustling the water so you wouldn't see you only get a reflection of the sky probably bits of the sky all right let's, let's get a bit of that uh, paint grey and a bit of that yellow let's just, Okay, let's uh, see if I can get a bit of that out. No, let's try that. So we'll uh, put a little bit of uh, greedy stuff. Just had a bit of texture on here. We need to balance that over here. Just using that beautiful yellow.
just got a bit of uh, counter change in there. Okay, well I think we'll uh, scrape a little bit of that out. Oh, just just scrape out very gently just a bit of a bit of back to the the, uh, the paper the white paper uh, okay now I'll give that a dry and I might might even put a figure in or something so take your headphones off go You can always get the ripples out um, by putting a bit of weight on the whole lot when it's dry, of course. Uh, right, let's. Uh, I'll use uh, my new rigger. I'll put some birds in as well, so. So easy, birds. Look, right? <laughs> it just says birds. <laughs> right, let's just sign this. Then I'll. Uh... Usher. Okay, now then, we've. Um, I, don't, I don't really think a, a, a figure would do anything to this. It's a bit muddy. Uh, I'll put in a bit in the mounds. Uh, really right, bit of masking tape. The masking tape, this masking tape that I'm using, is it came in a pack of six, five or six, and as it got older, it started to the adhesive started to stick to the paper and the acrylic cartridge paper, or when I was painting acrylics. And it's, it's, it's a devil of a job to remove, so I'm going to have to buy some more of that. Right, I'll take these off. And then I'm going to let the sun's dog out, because they're working. Uh, oh, let's put that up there. See, you, it just covers. So there, there's another one. It's a... Uh, very dull. I think, if anything, the uh, the yellow is so strong it does have a deadening effect. But uh, uh, there we go. Let's take it straight. Some of the, uh, the horizons are not quite straight, but that's because of the way I I photograph them. But uh, I only photograph them for. Facebook. Uh, oh, let's just move that over there. Get that on there. Oh, it's very, very hard to grip. Right. Okay. Well, there we are. Another another lake scene. There. This is always a problem trying to get the right colours on there, but I've I've kept this quite uh, subdued in the background. If anything, I should have put it in when it, when it was wet, wet and wet. 
But look what's happened to the sky, look, it's gone much lighter than when I put it on. So, cloudy, stormy. You can put some uh, stuff on here, some... Anyway, there we are, we've got another painting. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.